disc, or as it is more commonly known by its trademark name of Frisbee, has long been the purview of high-energy dogs at halftime shows. The game of Ultimate Disc has been gaining popularity in the last five years, going from pickup games on a quad to more organized club events and finally to professionals, playing in front of small, paying crowds and even on national TV. The game combines a little bit of football, basketball and soccer. It is played on a football field in Charlotte and a soccer pitch in Raleigh. A gorgeous night for Ultimate North Carolina. Evan Lepler is the TV voice of the sport. Yeah, you never know what you're going to see when a team has its first ever professional game, but it's really fun to watch. The owners have done a great job getting things ready in a short time, and you know it's something to build upon. The seven player teams start with a kickoff type play to the opponents, who then try to score by passing the disc down the field. Players cannot run with the disc and can only pivot like a basketball player who has picked up a dribble. They must throw the disc within seven seconds of catching it. Scoring in ultimate disc is similar to soccer, one point for a catch in the end zone. But unlike a nil-nil soccer final, 40 to 50 goals per game is the norm in ultimate disc. It's a very exciting game with numerous skies and layouts. In ultimate, you see them four or five times every single point. For players, fans, and the organizers, Ultimate Disc has several advantages over other sports. It is non-contact, so the risk of serious injury, like concussions, is far less. Deep shot, Brian Casey lets it fly to the end zone. Justin Allen sizes it up and hauls it in. Steve Hall is the owner of the Charlotte Express. I think it's going to be a great alternative uh, for parents who are very concerned about concussions or maybe kids who, um, where football is just not the game for them anymore. This is a great alternative. Team sport, highly aerobic, hand-eye coordination. Another advantage is the simplicity of the game. Participants don't wear any special equipment. In fact, all that is needed to play a game that people are willing to pay to watch is a disc that costs about $7. Um, so we're seeing uh, continued growth uh, with the 20-year-olds, but the biggest part of the focus of Ultimate and the growth is really with the high school and middle school students. Um, and that's one of our missions. If you look at our website, we want to bring Ultimate to the masses and to the kids. The first game in Charlotte drew several hundred fans. In Raleigh, thanks to the presence of the nearby colleges and universities, the game drew over a thousand. It's growing at a really good rate right now and, and everybody wants to know, so when will we be mainstream? And you know, it's not gonna be tomorrow and it might not be next year, but we're moving towards that. The game does appear to be growing rapidly. Wikipedia reports Ultimate Disc has more than five million players, while the more popular to watch football has fewer than two million. But no one expects Ultimate, with its spectacular wide receiver type catches, to overtake football anytime soon. I love football. I know the country loves football. So I don't think Ultimate's trying to replace football, but it's trying to, to be a sport along with football and baseball and basketball and hockey and soccer. The economics of this new sport are a fraction of big time money, but are encouraging. Franchise fees were $100 a few years ago. Now, the American Ultimate Disc League office says it cost $25,000 to purchase rights for a team, and that figure will rise to $35,000 later this year. The league has 25 teams in the U.S. and Canada. The league keeps costs down by having all of the regular season games played regionally. Charlotte and Raleigh play against each other and against Atlanta, Jacksonville, and Nashville. No trips to the West Coast unless you make the playoffs. And players are in the game more for the love of it than a paycheck. The league office says they are typically paid $25 to $50 per game. Perhaps the love of the game is most true for this man, 53-year-old school teacher Ed Fox, a little more than twice the average age of a disc player. Fox has a superb throwing arm. And he even has a fan base. Um, well, I wanted to see my teacher, Mr. Fox, play Ultimate. And how did he do? Awesome.
At the end of the first two professional disc league games in North Carolina, the Raleigh Flyers were winners. It has been a brilliant performance from the Flyers. The Charlotte Express, losers. As the players engaged in a sportsmanship handshake, an important part of the league's philosophy, no one was leaving the field disappointed. Uh, I like the constant action of the game, so that was really cool just to be able to there always something going on. It was fun to see the crowd get so into it and, you know, really support the players. We could not have been more pleased with the turnout today. Uh, we're expecting some uh, pretty enthusiastic fans and we got some. Uh, friends, family and uh, just uh, uh, people who are enthusiastic about Ultimate came out today.